I'm able, as the former president of the Illinois AFL-CIO, to talk about the eight years that Barack Obama was a state legislator. Before he came to the state senate, he worked with the steel workers and those who were laid off from plants. And he said to me one day in the state capitol, Margaret, I know how important the union card is. But I said, how come? And he said, because the difference when I was in community organizing between having a union card and not meant you had the solidarity of your brothers and sisters to help you find another job, get some training, work out your problems. That didn't happen for the other folks. Barack Obama cares about workers and their families in so many ways. I'm voting for Obama. 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 Well, first I was with Hillary Clinton. She was my first choice, but it was no problem uh, getting behind Obama. I'm going to vote for Barack Obama because I think that he will help the middle class people and put people back to work in this country. He wants to modernize health care. Um, he wants to have stricter rules with NAFTA. I like the fact that he's a Christian. I'm a Christian. I know Obama gets working people. We can't take four more years of this current administration, and that's what we'll get with John McCain. Everything that the American working man stands for, John McCain's against. What's happened in eight years is going to take a long time to reverse, but it gives us hope. Everybody just needs to get out and vote. If they want to see things change in this country, that Barack Obama's way to go. If you talked about the issues and you let them know what Barack stands for and you let them know what John McCain stands for, I don't care whether you're a union or what you are, you're going to have to have an awful lot of money not to vote for Barack. Imagine a president whose life story is like so many of your own. Who knows what it's like to go to college on student loans or to see a mother get sick and worry that maybe she can't pay the bills. Imagine an America where our politics is not based on fear, but is based on hope. I've spoken with union members and working Americans all across this country. In small towns and big cities and living rooms and VFW halls in coffee shops, at plants, and farms, and factories. There's one thing I've found in common. They all want to know that they're being given a fair shot in life, that wages they're making will be enough to raise a family, that they'll be able to afford health care if they or their loved ones get sick, that they'll be able to send their kids to college even if they're not rich, and that they'll be able to retire with dignity and respect and security after a lifetime of hard work. They're common hopes and modest dreams. But for a long time, they've been out of the reach of too many families here in America. I know something about this. The reason I turned down a job on Wall Street and went to work as a community organizer in Chicago more than two decades ago was to help neighborhoods that had been devastated by the closing of steel plants all across the south side of Chicago. And I worked with churches and with unions to organize job training for those who'd been uh, put out of a job. And it taught me the most valuable lesson in my life, that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they're given a chance, and that change doesn't happen from the top down. Change happens from the bottom up because we mobilize the American people to bring about change. I want to play some offense. I'm ready to play offense for a living wage. I'm ready to play offense for a secure retirement. We're ready to play offense on universal health care. If we want to stand up for workers' rights abroad, we've got to look out for workers' rights here in the United States of America. I oppose NAFTA. That's why I opposed CAFTA. That's why I opposed permanent normalized trade relations with China without having some sort of assurances that American workers and American consumers were going to be looked after. We need to strengthen our unions by letting them do what they do best, and that is organize our workers. If a majority of workers want a union, they should get a union, and that is why I intend to sign the Employee Free Choice Act when it runs on my desk. The American people have a choice in this election. 
We can keep playing the same old Washington game, or we can choose a different future. There's a moment in the life of every generation where that spirit of unity and hopefulness has to come through if we're to make our mark on history. This is our moment. This is our time. And if you will march with me, if you will organize with me, if you will vote for me, then I promise you this, you and I together, we are going to change this country. We are going to change the world. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Thank you.